Yeah, you know, I mean, it don't really matter what I think at this point. You know, I could, you know, be pissed off, but it's, it's you know, he's still got decision. It's never going to change. It's just what it is. <clears throat> yeah, I did. I did think I did enough. Uh, I felt I pushed the pace. I, f I felt I brought the fight to him, you know. But here we are. You were having some pretty good success with the, the lower kicks, the leg kicks to the calf um, early on, first couple of rounds, but you kind of went away from it later on. Was it a um, conscious effort that you did that? Was that on purpose, or was that part of the original game plan? That was a part of the original game plan going forward. Uh, we wanted to target that, get them off balance, and then capitalize, take advantage of that. I did not do a good enough job of capitalizing and getting, getting on top of him when he was off balance. Uh, I think I landed it, I don't know, three or four times, something like that. He was off balance and, and um, stumbled a little bit, and I wasn't able to quite um, do what we wanted to do with it. No, I, I definitely felt I did enough to earn, to get my hand raised, earn the, the victory. I was just, uh, want to make sure the big guy over here, I want to see what, how he had it the last time, you know, yeah, he had it going that, the other way. Yeah, that's what I so. figured. That's what I figured. I just wanted to see. But is your immediate thought like you'd want to uh, get back uh, another title shot against uh, Benson? Uh, you know, I, I doubt I'm, you know, I'm moving on. I mean, Danny ain't going to give me another title shot, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> and, but, uh, uh, and Frankie, as disappointing as it is, are you happy with your performance? The fight was awesome. Both yeah, I am, great. you know. I thought I improved from last time. I thought I did enough to win. And, uh, I mean, a lot of people told me that, that I thought they thought they won. A lot of people, you know. <clears throat> but it don't matter. The judges didn't. But, but are you happy with the fight? Are you, are you happy with the execution? What, what lessons did you take out of this fight? Uh, for me, I guess the biggest thing I was disappointed in myself with was I didn't push the pace enough. I wasn't tired at all. I, you know, the Denver fighting high elevation, I felt we did enough to train and be prepared for it. Uh, I didn't get tired, so I, we obviously did you know, a good job of um, preparing for the elevation. But I should have pushed the pace a lot more. I could have pushed the pace a lot more. My coaches were yelling at me in, in, you know, in between rounds, push your pace, push your pace. You know you can turn up another level. You can turn up, you can turn up the volume. Let's go, Henderson. Uh, time, time to turn it up. And I was uh, I don't know, kind of lethargic. I, I didn't turn it up as much as I should have. And obviously, both of you guys are going to move on right now. But with you know, how close this fight was, how close the last one was, do you ever envision a day where you'd like to fight with them again? Or do you feel like, hey, 2-0 and is 2-0, and and I'm, I'm done? Uh, well, you know. Cowboy and I are, you know, we've, we've danced a couple of times. I know, I know I'm going to see Cowboy again. I know that. I know he's coming hard. Uh, so, Frankie, I'm, I'm sure, you know, he has a heart of a champion. He's a, he's a great guy. He's a, a great fighter. Um, you guys counting him out, I, I wouldn't do that, you know. So, him and I seeing each other again, who knows? It might happen. For Henderson, can you talk a little bit about your faith and what it means at a time like this? Uh, for me, it just allows me to put stuff into perspective. Like, I, I, love, I love winning. I cannot stand losing. But if I were to lose tonight, it's cool, you know? Uh, I have a savior up above who, who loves me, and, and I know that life is going to be okay. Sun's going to rise tomorrow. Uh, we're going to eat some French toast tomorrow morning, and it's all good. You know, it's, it's not that big a deal. Uh, the world has not ended. And for me, my faith uh, allows me to, to embrace life like that. That's where it comes through the most. Yeah, I, I think the more I think about it now, the more I replay the fight in my head a little bit. I think his elusiveness, uh, backing away and stuff, allowed me to not be as aggressive as I wanted to be as far as me pushing the pace and, and going forward and, and wanting to, you know, let's get after it a little bit. His elusiveness, his footwork, his awesome footwork, you know, I, I, he works on it all the time. He gets better every fight with his footwork, his, uh, his spacing and distance. Uh, that allowed me to not do what I wanted to do. Um, you know, first couple of rounds, I landed some good low kicks, got him off balance, and then he adjusted. You know, the, the last two rounds, three rounds, he did a great job and did not allow me to go with those low kicks anymore. He did a good job with his uh, elusiveness there. Yeah, Ben, what were your thoughts going into the uh, fifth round, and did you think you were ahead? I thought I was ahead. I thought that, um, you know, maybe at, at, at worst it was uh, even, and I had to win the fifth round. Again, I have the exact same sentiments as Mr. White over here. Can't leave it in the judges' decisions. You can't. You never know. I've I've seen some. You guys have seen some very suspect, you know, judges' decisions. So anytime you leave in the judges' decision, doesn't matter how bad you beat the guy up. You never know. You never know. And close as as close as uh, our fight was, you know, uh, I just knew that I had to get after that fifth round and go get him. Um, that was it. Yeah, for that fifth round. I noticed during the fight you switched your stance constantly, constantly, constantly. So was that by design? You thought that would help you 
sort of figure out his footwork, or you know, did you think that that was an advantageous thing for you to do tonight? It was more of just an advantageous thing for our, us to do as far as keeping him off balance. We wanted to keep him guessing, keep him off balance. Uh, we knew he was going to have great footwork. We wanted uh, my footwork to confuse him a little bit, to make his going forward hesitate just, just a second to allow me to you know, do what I want to do. But do you think that that hindered your ability then to press the, press the action and then? No, I don't, I don't think it hindered because that's what we practice. We practice switching stances. We practice going to a couple of different stances uh, and throwing them off and then going forward, being aggressive like that. Uh, so I'm fine in, in practice doing it. It's another thing when you step in there against a guy like Frankie Edgar and, and how tough he is, it you know threw me off a little bit. Yeah. And then just lastly, how close were some of his chokes? He obviously looked to, to be very close uh, a couple of times. No, the no? chokes weren't close at all. They were like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he's he's come close a couple times, yeah. but the, the chokes were they were on my chin. They weren't oh. under my uh, under my chin at all. They were right here. I was actually a little bit surprised. Um, I was expecting him to let go and fire off with his hands a little bit. That would that would have worried me more than actually getting choked. But okay, thanks. Yeah, no problem, Karen. Hey Ben, um, thoughts on Nate <clears throat> next fight? Sorry, yeah, but just what I in the middle. Of thoughts yeah, on Nate, oh. just, just thought, your, 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 your thoughts going into your next fight now. Uh, God bless him. It's gonna be a fun fight. I know he likes to uh, go into his fights uh, and get guys worked up in the head a little bit and stuff. So, you know, him, his camp, everybody uh, involved in that 209 stuff, you know, God bless him. My, my hat's off to him. He's a tough fighter. When we uh, get inside that cage, I'm anxious. I'm excited to get inside that cage also. Uh, there's a long list of guys. I have a bulls on my back, you know. Let's go. Let's bring it. Let's do it.